How's it going guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin and welcome to episode 2 of Spirit Halloween Theme Lab. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at my front theme, Reaper's Valley Farm. So in each episode, we will be covering a different part of the theme. So the first episode, we started off with the archway. This episode, we'll be taking a look at the front theme. And in the final episode, we'll be taking a look at the back theme. I just want to give a huge thank you to GM Haunts. He inspired me to make this series since he had a video or a series on his channel pretty very similar to this. So I want to say thank you to him for pretty much letting me use his idea. So thank you to him. Be sure to subscribe to him. I'll link him in the description as always. And yeah, it's this is I make my themes inside a 3D modeling software called Tinkercad. It's a really great thing. I will also link that in the description if you want to check out Tinkercad for yourself and maybe try messing around with making your own theme. But with all that, everybody, I guess let's get started. So let's hop into it and let's take a look at Reaper's Valley Farm. All right, everybody. So here it is, Reaper's Valley Farm. This is the front theme for the three the themes, as I said before. Last episode, we took a look at the archway, and this time we're taking a look at the front theme. So here it is again, and I'm just going to give you a quick little spin around of the whole theme. There is so much to break down here, so we'll get into it fairly quickly. But I just want to give you a nice big view of the entire theme real quick. Again, there's just so much going on here. I packed so much detail in. So I guess let's get started. So to start off, let's talk about where the props will go. I'll get into all the little minor details later and basically the whole setting of it. But right up in the front of the barn shed doors, we got these little risers before you walk into the barn itself. We got these little risers right here, which could probably fit two props on it. One in the front and one off to the side as well. Same thing on this side too. We got one here and you could probably fit one more right there. So these corn stalks, again, will probably have to be plastic. Obviously, they wouldn't be real since they would probably fall apart and start rotting in the store. They could do the same thing they did in 2018, just have these fake corn stalks there, which could look really nice and definitely, again, put you in that farm vibe and just really overall fits in with the farm theme and the abandonedness of the farm. So you could fit two props right there. But now when you walk into the barn itself, you could also fit at least three or two props right here or maybe even one giant one, which I think would be really cool. So for realism's sake, this would probably have to be around six or seven feet tall, the roof of the barn when you walk in, which I feel like is definitely a reasonable size and definitely enough room to fit a prop in here. So you got these little boxes and the hay bale right here. I'll get into those in a little bit when we come back to this area, but there could be a prop right there. So now over on each side, I have two little special scenes going on. So over here, we have the slaughterhouse, which is definitely one of my favorite parts of this theme I built. So the slaughterhouse, there are so many little details in here, which we'll get into again later. But we can fit two more props in here on each of these risers right here. Since there's the roof here, they would probably have to be a little bit smaller so they wouldn't be touching the roof. But I'm sure you could fit a like probably a, around a six foot prop in here. Maybe not a towering prop or a seven foot prop, but you could definitely fit a six foot prop right in there, which would look really cool with all the little details of the chop, sh uh, chop shop or slaughterhouse, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the slaughterhouse because obviously on an actual farm, they have a slaughterhouse, which is something I feel like just really needed to be done in a farm theme. So that's why I put it here. And then all the way in the back here, or actually, let me talk about the silo first. You could fit one more prop in here. The grain silo, again, would just fit really nicely in with the whole theme here. I really love the way the grain silo came out. There's a little bit of a broken part. And obviously, right in here, you could fit another prop right in there. Again, this one could be probably a taller one since there's a lot more space in this. It obviously, goes all the way up to the top. But obviously, you got to fit it within this little broken out part here. But I'm sure you could fit a seven foot, maybe even a six foot prop in here too. So that's another little spot for a prop to go. Now for the back area, which is the porch area, you could probably fit at least three props back here, which would be great to see. You fit one here, one here, another one here. And also I put a little spot for another jumping spider to go. I'm not sure what color jumping spider would go here, but there's definitely a spot specifically made for a jumping spider right there with, a, with part of the porch being broken out so a spider can jump out through it. And yeah. That's pretty much it for where the prop placements would go. You could overall fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten, eleven. You could fit eleven props just in this theme alone. Now, for realism's sake, I'm gonna say they're probably gonna like have to maybe not that much because it's gonna be pretty large and. If this were to be put in stores again, they'd probably have to do a lot of modifications and shrinking of it just a little bit because obviously this is a very, very big theme. I was definitely trying to keep it as realistic as possible, but really this is going to be massive inside a store, so they'd probably have to shrink parts of it down a little bit to where you may not even be able to fit as many prompts on there. 
but for this for the model itself you could definitely fit at least 11 props on here which is a lot and yes i know it sounds like a lot because it is a lot so yeah all right so now that i explained where the prompts would go let's just talk about the whole thing really so i'll start off with the front it itself so right here when you walk up to it again you got the two you got the four props right here just the two in front and then the one in the middle and so i'll just talk about the front itself so first of all all these little pieces of black right there they're meant to be broken off pieces of wood from the barn so obviously it's an old decrepit barn that's pretty much collapsing on itself so there's going to be a lot of little details of broken off pieces of wood so that's why those are right here and then right here i left it blank because it would have been very hard but i feel like this is a great spot to put a jack the reaper cutout as they always put in all their themes this would be a perfect little spot to have jack the reaper in there maybe a fire and ice light in there would be really cool and some spider webs that would just be a really cool place to hide jack the reaper and then when you step inside which is one of my favorite parts right here obviously you could fit a prop right there and just some details with the boxes and another hay bale but you're probably wondering what these are these little black cutouts right here well, these are actually meant to be screens. So my idea is that in, when you walk into an actual barn, obviously they have the stables where the animals go. So since obviously you can't actually fit that in here, I thought these screens could show either skeleton or zombie animals, which would be awesome. So for example, you could have the horse here, a pig there, maybe like a chicken pen over here, and maybe another animal over there. I'm trying to, or maybe like a cow or something. Just a lot of farm animals that could be all like zombified and just like rotting and they could do a few jump scares or something just a really cool idea of something to put on the screens that really fits with the theme and actually makes sense for what an actual barn would look like so i'm pretty proud of myself for that idea let me know if you guys think that is a cool idea as well i definitely really do enjoy it so let me know what you guys think of this little area over here i really do enjoy the inside of the barn area so now I'll talk about the two little things on the sides or not really a little but there's some pretty big things on the sides so here we have the grain silo. So starting off over here, or I guess I'll talk about this little um, pumpkin on this here. Again, these are just little details that like just get placed on the theme randomly. But I think if they're actually using the manual, this would be where it goes because it's a little bit too small over here to fit in two props. So that would just be a nice little detail to put there. But now for the grain silo itself again. So this here, like it's probably going to be around 10 feet tall, probably a little bit too big for most stores. Maybe not, though. I could be wrong. But I think you could fit a decently sized prop in here. Maybe even 12 feet this thing shoots up since, obviously, the whole barn is very big. But I really wanted to add this little detail built into the farm because I think having, like, these different parts of the farm built into each other would be really awesome. So, obviously, most farms have a grain silo. And a lot of them are actually built into the farms, which is something Spirit has never done before. So... In 2012, when they had another farm theme, they had a grain silo just like kind of free floating in the store. Not really free floating, but not attached to the main barn theme. But I think having it attached would be awesome. So I really enjoyed this idea here. And again, it's a perfect spot to put another prop. And also, since the ceiling is so high inside this, you could have some lights in here making a very cool lighting effect. I think a red fire and ice light on the prop would be really nice. And then over here, which is another one of my favorite parts of the theme I have, we have the slaughterhouse. Now, of course, every farm has a slaughterhouse, but Spirit Halloween has actually never done a slaughterhouse a part of their farms before, which is just something that's such a missed opportunity. So I said, you know what? Let's put a slaughterhouse in. This would be awesome to have. So here's the little slaughterhouse display here. We got some hooks, some knives, some buzz saws, and some just, again, some more knives and a saw, and of course, the guillotine right in the middle. Now, you could definitely fit two props on either side of the guillotine here, or a guillotine, I should be saying. Sorry for mispr mispronouncing that. And obviously, this is just like a real slaughterhouse where, unfortunately, animals go to meet their slaughter. But this time, it's going to be some humans. Awesome little area inside of a theme. I just really love this little area here. Definitely two props could fit right here. And, of course, when you actually can buy the themes and stuff, this could probably be purchased separately since, you know, it would just be really cool to purchase separately. But... Anyways, I'm kind of rambling on here. But yeah, this is just another little area that I think would be awesome to see in a farm theme. So that's why I made it. And let me know what you guys think of the slaughterhouse and the silo on each side. This was definitely something I had in mind right off the bat. And I think would just be awesome to see in an actual theme. So 
for my theme, this would be great. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this little area over here. Now for the porch back area. This is definitely another one of my favorite areas. I'm saying that about everything in this theme, but I really just love the entire thing. I think probably the slaughterhouse is my favorite area, but also the porch is really awesome as well. Because these two windows right here will also be screens. So I'm thinking you could probably see what's going in, inside on the kitchen. Maybe there could be some giant grotesque chef or something chopping up some humans. And on this side, maybe, I'm not sure what could really be going on here. Maybe they're all sitting down to eat dinner or something. And it's just a very gross meal, kind of like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre when they're going to eat someone. So I think that would be really cool to see in there. Just two more screens where you could see some stuff. And then again, all these these broken parts of wood off to the side here. Just some nice details which would just be decaled on. It would be a part of the texturing print of the cardboard. It won't actually be popping out or broken in. And then over here, we have this place for the props to go. You could easily fit in three props right here, I think. And then over here, we just have a few more crates with a pumpkin on it, which just really adds a nice tone to the whole back area over here since, you know. And then again, we have the then we have the railing for it. This took a while to make, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. And then, of course, again, we have the little area for the jumping spider to go. Well, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of Spirit Halloween Theme Labs. I just really hope you guys enjoyed Reaper's Valley Farm. I put so much time and effort into this. You really don't even know how long this took, but it probably took me at least five and a half hours to make. So definitely a lot of work went into this video. So please like and subscribe as always, everybody. And again, I just had so much fun making this. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Be sure to let me know what you think of my whole farm in the comments below as well. I would really want to hear some feedback from you guys. But with all that, everybody, I guess that's going to do it. So take one last look around and just really take it all in. So with all that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And as always, this is the Pixelated Pumpkin signing out.